I is Ryan from Exponential Bet. In this short video, I'm going to show you three bets that were placed over a series of three races on the 22nd of July. Now you can see there, I've placed a lay bet on number eight, Nick Knapp. The OP, VF, and OP plus VF are all shown blue. Now, I have blue as bad with my setup because you can customize the colors, and the numbers are also very high on that horse. Uh, it's early in the race, and the tactic is to find a horse that gets off to a bad start and is unlikely to have enough in the locker later on to catch up. Now, these are also horses that aren't very well fancied. Now, as you can see here at the business end of the race, the horse went on to lose, and my target of at least 10% profit on the bet was met. Now, same again in the next race, just tracking it very early on and looking for the horses here. You can see there's a lot of blue on that horse and just trying to gauge which horse hasn't got off to the best of starts. That's just outside the most fancied horses. And uh, in this case is number one, Caddy Hill. I didn't get off to a great start and I'm able to lay that horse which you can see there's a straight line of blue there and the numbers are all very very high and high is bad when it comes to off par or velocity fluctuation because the horse is running on and off the pace to create that velocity fluctuation which means it's going to need to put in a lot more to actually then go on and win the race. Now I'm laying this quite early on. As you can see there, as I sort of froze the video to show you where I got on. Now, this strategy is really only one simple method. Looking for the horse that's got off to a crappy start and is outside the lead in pack when it comes to the fancied horse at the start of the race which means that if it hasn't got off to the best of starts and it's not very well fancied, you can get some value. And the value I'm looking for is at least 10% ROI on my investment. Which to make it very simple, as I'm placing 10 pound bets, I'm looking for a pound upwards. So you can be relative to whatever stake that you've got. In this race, you can see the horse following the same rules that got off to a crappy start at this point, at the point where I've just highlighted it there, was number four, mate one. At this moment, it's art man. And what I'm doing in this race is applying the same filters where I'll spot a couple of horses, maybe two or three, and I'll look for the ones that didn't get off to a brilliant start using the same rule. And then I'll come in later in the race to try and get some extra value on the bet on those horses because maybe they didn't get off to a great start but they put in a good show and here you can see mate one has really started to come back a little bit but if you remember from the start it wasn't brilliant for the horse so that's why i've decided to lay it at this point which is just over five furlongs from the finish now the odds are better so for the bet i'm getting over 10 percent profit on that for the lay bet and it's the same technique it's the same selection that i would have made right at the start of the race when the odds were higher so skipping to nearer the business end you can see the horse is now drifting out and i'll tell you now no spoilers that the horse loses and i win the bet so that's a, a simple technique that you can use there just to spot horses that get off to a poor start and then if they're just outside the top horses they're more than likely going to struggle to get in contention near the end of the race. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks.